Okay, the digital steel book releases are getting to be too much. No, not digital, just steel book 4Ks. Now, they, what they're doing now because of the virus and everything, everything's being blown out of proportion. They're redoing all old movies and releasing them in 4K. Movies that some people, f some people will say they're already overdue, but I'd have to say some of them shouldn't even be made. Now, you're going to say, why would I say no to The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings? I thought the, the Hobbit was way overdone with CG, but I say no to it because for me it kind of sucks. I tried to look up these things for the longest time if they were coming out in 4K. And all I get is Blu-ray forms that say, oh, maybe next year, the year after. All, all you can get is educated guesses from people because there's no way to tell. So, um, just... Recently they said the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies are going to come out in 4K. And I'm saying to myself, that is just, it's an insult to me because I just bought these Blu-ray sets a, a year ago or maybe a little more. And now already there's a 4K set coming out. Now they do have a regular set besides the steel books. But I mean, come on, every, anyone with a right mind that's a collector would buy the steel books over the, over the, um, regular set any day of the week and I, I just feel like they could have waited a little longer or they actually no, not waited a little longer why do they have to do it in the first place I don't know how much of a difference they're gonna get since these are these the, since it's the Hobbit and since it's Lord of the Rings I assume they're gonna do a better job than any other and the any of the other HDR movies they do but we don't know. Maybe they won't do a good job. We really don't know until we... That's how I, I feel about it. We just don't know. But all I know is is that um, is it's going to be tricky. To, it'll be interesting to see what else. Well, I mentioned it before in another video a while back. Westworld Season 3 Steelbook is going to be coming out on blu Rump, 4K Blu-ray, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be coming out in December going along with that other stuff so it's going to be quite a wacky thing for blu-ray because there's going to be a lot of steelbook releases in 4k but they're going to be a lot of older trilogies i um they have nothing else to do that i always wanted a titanic movie that i i people have been talking about how james cameron needs the rights to titanic to set it up properly or he needs to okay the film okay but I mean, what? how hard could it be? The, the movie's been out for 20 plus years. If you're looking to make a 4K movie, I can only assume before the pandemic started that he'd already looked at some 4K footage and stuff. I think Titanic should have been released a long time ago in a, in a steel book. They have to do the works for that movie because they waited too long to release it in 4K. Just like they waited way too long to release it in Blu-ray. They waited a long time to get that on Blu-ray. I feel they're going to have to do a good... They can't just have a, a small release. They have to have a full, you know, special steelbook collector's edition. So if you're looking for a steelbook movie, it's going to be tough. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be tough for, for any n new steelbook movies because there's just no movies have been coming out. So you're going to have to rely on a lot of makeups. I mean, remakes. All kind of remakes you're going to be looking for for the next several months until things get back on track, I can only assume. I don't know what else they can offer us, but I'm just kind of, it kind of pisses me off. And yes, it's yes, it's really with the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Why do I have my sunglasses with me still? It's still, it's still, um, it pisses me off because if you go in the stores, I'm sure if you go to Best Buy, go to BestBuy.com. You can look at all that and you'll see that the prices are still through the roof, kind of. And, um, you know, for anybody that's looking to get the digital copies, obviously they'll offer you the 4K version. But the 4K version is kind of useless because if you own a tablet, there's pretty much no... I don't think there is a tablet that can show you an actual 4K image right now. None of the iPads can do it. Um, so, yeah... They, yes, it's true if you download a 4K version off of iTunes and watch it, it looks better, which it does, but you're never going to get that full 4K image. So, well, until then, 
I can only assume they're going to offer all that. It's a lot. It's hundred and twenty dollars for both series, The Hobbit, and all that other stuff. The um, Lord of the Rings. They're very long movies too. I don't mind long movies. I love long movies. I don't like when a movie ends after an hour and a half. I like when it's a good three-hour movie. I don't mind that, but some people hate it. Well, we'll see what happens. But I'm just sick of remakes. Bye bye.